This is how to load a uh, basic tune onto your uh, SD card on your Terminator. This will fit in the side of your handheld and you can up upload it very easily to your uh, ECU, to your Terminator. So stick this little SD card, came with the kit, or you can get one at Staples. Stick that in that slot. There's a slot in your laptop or desktop for that. Down here it says removable disk D. It went away there. There you go. So we're going to click on documents. Click the bottom left here. Click on that. Click on documents. That'll work. Zoom in a little bit here for you. Okay, uh, we look, we see removable disk D. It could be E or F on your computer. But you see where it says Holly. Let's click on that. See where it says FW0200. I'm using version 2. If you're using V1 software, it will say FW0100. This is where you want to put your tune. Now, I'll go up here. Let's see if I can... Move this up just a hair for you and show you there's nothing on this right here. I deleted everything. FW0200 right there. Okay, saved GCF. That's what you're looking for. Okay, that's where your tune's going to go. Nothing in here, right? Okay, that's what we're going to do. And I'm going to show you the steps to do this. Open up your software. Open global file, base calibrations. The warning can be turned off in preferences. It's easy to do. I think it's in the toolbox up here. Ford, small block. TFI, naturally aspirated small block Ford. Looking good. Up here, the top left of your screen. If you can see that, uh, that's the file you're working with. Click on File. Okay, let's go with Sensors, Map. I have the, uh, I'll zoom in a little bit for you here. I have a the internal one bar, that's that little uh, blue uh, hose coming off the ECU. You plug that into uh, a vacuum source on your manifold. And here's a bunch of other stuff in here. If you have uh, the th Holly 3 bar, thinking about getting one later on. Okay, that'll be fine for now. Let's go with coolant temperature sensor, Holly CTS. Okay, that's the one I want right there. Coolant temperature sensor, it came with the kit. Let's go to manifold air temperature, Holly MAT. Again, it came with the kit. The oil pressure, I want to go, I'm, I don't have this working great right now but it does do something so uh, I'm working on this but you need a transducer got mine on uh, Holly sells one or I got mine on Amazon here's your fuel pressure again you're gonna need a uh, transducer for this pressure transducer I'm gonna go with the Holly 100 SS 554102 move along here let's see with this system okay let's see here here's a few things you can change around uh, number of cylinders of course is eight engine displacement I have a 306 or a 302 I'm I bought a short block for the car so I, it might be a 306 I'm not sure either one will work let's go over here to load sensing 
Okay, VE based will be okay. So yes to that. Uh, let's see, multi-port uh, fuel pump prime for five seconds. My actual system uh, fuel pressure, uh, 30 or 35 is what I, I think I have. The WBO2 type, the Bosch 4.9. That's the one that came, that's your uh, oxygen sensor, just one oxygen sensor, uh, runs uh, this ECU. The other, on the other header, just take a, they make a plug for it, just it screws in there and blocks that off. Fuel injector information. I have, see, let's move up here a little bit, I have... 19 pound injectors, 19 pound Holly injectors. I don't know what kind I have, but they're 19 pound. Click on that. Flow rate, I don't know anything about that. So we'll move on. And then down here, I have, I, I'm not working with this yet, but in the future, I hope to be able to do some stuff here. Click on, it looks like a clock here. Let's click on that. We can make some changes here. 40 and 60, I'm going to leave that. Enable idle spark. Enable, and it's got a check mark. I'm just going to leave it the way they had it. Now here's where you can make some changes. You have a advanced idle control, 5.0 liter Ford. I'll show you what's in here. You've got a four barrel or a GM or whatever. But anyway, if you've got the Fox body, that's what you want. Um, now here, instead of stepper, you want this PWM, pulse width modulation, I think that's what that means. Pul pulse width, I know that, but I'll move on there. Now let's go with the IAC ramp down, 40, I'm just going to leave that 40%, I'm going to leave that the way they had it. Ramp decay time, 5.0 seconds, and just leave everything like that. Start up IAC position, hold four seconds. Let's go three seconds, see what happens. That's where you can start playing around with this and make some changes. Three, I'm going to leave that at four, it's the way it was. Actually, I'm not doing anything in here right now, still learning about it. Let's go over to the pen map. This is important here. Click on the pen map. Go to output, uh, view outputs. Now this IAC PDUP pulse width modulation, right there it is. It was up here. Okay, I'll drag it back up there. And like, this is what you're going to see uh, when you first click on this. And it's real simple. Just grab this right here and drag it right down to this position right here. That's all. That's all you do. Done there. Let's hit down over here. Okay, that's just a few things there that I know how to do. Uh, you got to save here. You can, anytime you just save it. Uh, it's not going to even do anything, but it definitely saved it. So now we're going to uh, save this. Let's go up to file. Let's go down here to save global file as. Right here will open up for you. Let's rename this so you know what it is because that's, that's your base tune there. Go ahead and delete that and let's call this Jiffy Jeff. That's what they used to call me when I was working and I hated the name but I'm embracing it now. I don't even care. Let's save that. Let's say, and actually, let's save this so I know where it is. It's going to be in documents if you don't, uh, let's see where that would that go. Go to this PC. Anyway, let's click on desktop and let's save that. Okay, what do you know? There's Jeffy Jeff. Uh, one of the, that's putting two files, uh, or yeah, two files up here on your desktop. This is just a uh, notepad file here shows you what you did but your tune is going to be this one right here this one right here 
you're going to get something like that. But don't even worry about that. We're just going to drag that over to your D card or E, wherever it is. And I'm going to do a startup. I'm going to load this tune and do a startup for you. The car runs like a little monster now. Love the way this Terminator uh, made my car run. I'm, okay, let's see. Now, uh, that was the D uh, The D. Click on that. Removable disc D. Right here. Let's click on Holly. Terminator X V2 or V1. Yeah, let's go back down here. Let's click on Holly again. This might work. Okay, here we go. See where it says FW0200 or if you're using version 1, again, it's going to be FW0100. This is where your tune's going to go. Save G, uh, global configuration file in there. Nothing in there, right? Okay. Let's get that Jiffy Jeff over in here. And it's this simple. Let's drag that over, and there it is. Let me back that up and do that again. You couldn't really see that. I'll delete the file. Let's delete it. You all know how to do this. Now, let's put Jiffy Jeff back over here again. Just drop it there. That's it. It's on your uh, D drive now. Let's look at it and make sure it's on there. I know it's on there, but I just want to show you. Back to Documents. Back to Holly. Or, yeah, Holly. That'll work. There's your FW200. Save GCF. Remember there wasn't anything in here previously. And there's Jeffy Jeff. It says 92, what is that, kilobytes? So you know it's in there. Not that text file. You don't need that. We'll get to the fun part here. And before I start the car I want to and load the tune, I just want to show you a little bit about it. No map sensor up there on the firewall any longer. You don't need it because it's built in. See how clean this looks over here? You, nothing up here now. Mass air meter's gone. I love getting rid of that. I had a BBK. It cost me, I, I think it was 200 bucks or so, maybe more. There's your uh, TFI cable that came with the kit. Beautiful. That SD card that we loaded Jeffy Jeff on, it's right here. Goes right in the side, right here. You know that. Push it in there. See if we can turn the fans off real quick here. This is where you turn your fan on and off. And I'll show you how to do that later. Just glad I got it working. I, I, I don't need to use a toggle switch uh, for my fan any longer like I had it before. But anyway, let's get back here and load the tune. And fan will shut off here after we do this. Let's go back here. Let's go to tuning Let's see we go to file we go to right there it is global configurations and what do you know it says Jiffy Jeff right there now upload to ECU it's really this simple let's go OK that turned my fans off because it's a new tune now. It says turn the ignition off for four seconds.
When you do this, you're going to have to do a TPS reset, throttle position sensor. It's very, very easy to do. You have to do this uh, when you load a new tune. Nothing to it. And in here also, see that where it says GCF Wizard? That'll set you up when you're uh, basically getting started. But anyway, let's go with the TPS Auto Set. Make sure ignition is on and engine is not started. Okay, and you just say start. Press uh, slowly press pedal to the floor, then slowly release. Do this twice. Boom, boom. Okay, next. Looking good there. TPS auto set was successful and done. We're ready to start the car now. As you can see, I'm working on the wiring here. I've removed everything I don't need, no radio or nothing like that. Still got to put the dash back in it, but show you a little bit about the. I'm looking over here. It goes under your seat. I have the bracket flipped up uh, backwards here, so it sits down nice, tucks down under your passenger seat. And look how clean that looks. No A9L computer sitting over in there. You can get rid of all that. And that 60 pin connector. How clean this is going to be when I finally finish it all up. Enough of that. Let's fire this beast up. 